So what we did in our, in our study uh, was performing a risk model and building a risk model that includes on the one hand multiparametric MRI with the PIRATE scoring of version number one and combined this with clinical parameters to predict significant prostate cancer um, probability in a huge cohort of around 1,100 patients. Which is novel in this case is the using of parameters that were delivered within the uh, wide known ERSPC risk calculators that has been published in huge cohorts about 7,000 patients and we used these parameters and put our experienced MRI reading using the standardized PIRATE score on top. What we did in a comparison using uh, RSC curve analysis after bootstrap strapping in this 1,100 patients was that we compared this to the classical ESPC risk calculators on the one hand for patients who never had a biopsy on and, and on the other hand for patients uh, who were after a previous negative biopsy. On the one hand, we used this ESPC risk calculator 3 for the biopsy nave once and ESPC risk calculator 4 for the patients who had a negative biopsy prior to this approach. And what we found was, in fact, that putting the PIRATES data on top and building a novel risk or two novel risk models was uh, significantly better in case of accuracy compared to the ESPC risk calculators alone and second to the PIRATE scoring, so using MRI alone. So this might be a nice and very, very quick approach to get a very accurate knowledge of what the, the patient's individual risk is of having significant prostate cancer. What we did in advance was that we, that we used decision curve analysis and had a look whether um, this approach could um, save unnecessary biopsies. And this was the fact. In fact, we had um, around 15% prostate biopsies that could be saved based on our novel approaches without missing any significant prostate cancer. And this is an encouraging amount. And um, hopefully we uh, uh, will get um, a lot of external validation cohorts to once publish this approach on the one hand and on the other hand to get a real knowledge about if this works not only on our cohort but also on other ones.